When all the world is a hopeless jumble And the raindrops tumble all around Heaven opens a magic lane Welcome to PPI Recording Studio Nestled in the cradle of a New York City Welcome to the third weekly episode for the month of July 2023 for dedication post-isolation weekly video series because we're getting it out to the nation and beyond. First photo you see come up today is a thank you to all our YouTube channel subscribers. You've become a significant part of the foundation of this channel and series. Now in the last couple of days we've garnered a few new YouTube channel subscribers onto the subscriber family if you will. So to those new subscribers I say thank you and welcome to join the subscriber family. Very easy Quick and simple, as you're watching today's episode, lower right-hand corner of your screen, you see a red button. Just click on to that red button, please. You're subscribed. You can also hit the thumbs up button, which is the like button as well. And there's a box next to the thumbs up button, which is a share button. You can click on to that, please, to share this episode and channel with your family and friends, if you would be so kind. Next photo you're going to see come up today is a thank you to the folks who joined us for last week's episode. That was July 13, 2023. It was very, very cool. As always, unique each and every week. And with that particular episode, if you've not seen it, I'll have a viewer's quick link in the text description area underneath today's episode. Makes it very easy for you. If you've not seen it, click on to and watch it at your leisure, please. Next episode, or next <laughs> photo <laughs> I'm going to talk about is for Paul Ponder's podcast series. Now, Paul Solano, who is the host and producer, he has a new episode that he put up on his podcast series about two days ago. So I'll have a live link in the text description area to Paul's podcast series for that new episode. And thank you, Paul, once again for inviting me to be a guest on Paul Ponder's podcast series. And that'll be in August of 2023. And what will be really interesting for that, it's going to be a menage a trois podcast, meaning it'll be Paul as the host myself as an interview guest, and also we're going to be joined by Paul Cisuerta, who is one of the principals of Gotham Whale, nonprofit organization based right here in New York City. And hence, that's where the hat is today. The hat's got the official logo of Gotham Whale. I have two of those hats. <laughs> right. So the next update I'm going to talk about, and this is for this particular flyer or poster, as you see right here on this music stand, now, his name is Dimitri Resto. He was a guest right here on June 18, 2023, on Dedication Post-Isolation. He's a jazz trombonist, and we've been promoting now for probably six, seven, eight weeks his GoFundMe page, and it's for his upcoming tuition for the fall of 2023. He will be attending Interlochen Arts Academy in Interlochen, Michigan. Now, the update for that is... It's been suggested to Dimitri that he's had his classical trombone now since uh, grade seven. So he's had it for about eight, nine years. Through his proficiency now of training, he's outgrown it. So we're adding that to the list for the GoFundMe. To get a really top flight classical trombone, it's going to cost anywhere from five to $10,000. So we're adding that to the wish list for the GoFundMe. I have live links in the text description area to the episode for June 18, 2023, in case you've not seen it. Makes it very easy to click on to and view. As well, I have a live link to the GoFundMe link for Dimitri Resto, and you can get more information and also donate if you would be so kind. Thank you as well to Billy Joe Thomas, Camilo, and Sunshine for their latest donation. Very, very generous, and we appreciate it. Not only from myself, but also the Resto family. Now, Project 142 is the sponsor for Dedication Post-Isolation Weekly Video Series. You're going to see the logo as I'm talking. Project 142 website is www.project142.org. Our Facebook page is Project 142NYC. The event calendar tethered to the website is www.project142.org slash calendar. That calendar gets updated every day by myself. I keep it very current. And also, we got new live events I'm going to be talking about today, and that's all now on the 
Project 142 event calendar to help support not only those artists, not only those nonprofit organizations, but to help get the word out and keep that energy moving in that positive direction. Now, I did talk about last week that today was going to be the seventh new underwater photography episode. We're shelving that for today for next week because we have all this wonderful information to get out there. And that is really the crux of what we do here each and every week for dedication post-isolation. It's not about us. It's not about this particular Project 142 or what I'm doing or singing. It's really about helping others because we really got terrific marketing skills and it helps, to, helps them. So the next one I'm going to talk about for today's Project 142 video promotion support is a new indie film that we've been supporting now here for approximately a year, and that is called My Ram Ronnie. You're going to see the photo as I'm talking. And I'm going to have live links in the text description area to their website, also their Facebook page, and the young lady who is the film score composer for that film is Eleni Lombardo, and we've been supporting her now, Project 142, for the last four years. The update is that they're in pre-production. They're getting ready to get the wheels under the bus. So to go onto their website, also their Facebook page, you can find more information and also donate if you like towards that new indie film. So the next one I'm going to talk about is for Gotham Whale, right? And you're going to see a photo come up. And this is part of the fantastic... Gotham Whale, right? Fantastic. Part of the fantastic news for this week. And that is the photo that is Paul Cisuera to June, or Senior, I'm sorry. And he is the founder of Gotham Whale, right? Now, Paul got a wonderful report this week. At the beginning of the week, he posted it. And these young women that you see here in the photo are part of his medical staff that are helping him through his process. He completed his second round of treatment for his malady and so he's so happy radiation or chemo I'm not sure which one but he completed it which is really really terrific and he's still like the ever ready rabbit still going so from Chip and I right here at PPI recording studio we send a very very hearty congratulations and a big hug out to Paul Sisuerta. Yay Paul! Yay! Yay! <laughs> congratulations Paul and we're with you man. So Segway now into a live event for Gotham Whale, and that's going to be August 2, and you're going to see the flyer come up. August 2, 2023, at 6 p.m. through 9 p.m., that'll take place at the Anchor Boston, which is the name of the venue, One Shipyard Park, and that's in Charlestown, Mass., by Boston, right? And I'll have live links in the text description area to Gotham Whale website, Facebook page, YouTube channel, also to the website and Facebook page for the Anchor Boston. Very easy to get information, find out how to buy tickets, but this is a screening of Ocean Angels. And I'll also have a live link to the Ocean, a Ocean Angels Take Two YouTube trailer, and you can find out more information about what it entails. But within that particular documentary, because that's what it is, Paul Cisuerta Sr., is featured in that and talks about his time as a, an aquarist, not only in Boston, but also here in New York City, over his career of approximately 40 years, and also being founder of Gotham Whale. So again, congratulations to Paul for keeping that energy moving and keeping that ball rolling. We're, we're behind you, man, with a wing behind, a wing behind your way, underneath your wings, and the wind behind your back. So the next one I'm going to talk about, it's actually two, and they're going to take place at the same venue in Norwalk, Connecticut. The first one, and this is for my friend Scott Viter, who is the point person for both events. First one is called July 29, 2023 at 6 p.m. is a full, complete pasta dinner. And it's 25 hours. You can contact Scott. He'll have live link to his Facebook page in the text description area. Also, his cell telephone. You can get a hold of him that way as well. And you can find out more information or you can certainly buy tickets at the door, but that's July 29, 2023 at 6 p.m. And the Eagles Hall, where this is going to take place, is 6 Mott Avenue in the center of Norwalk, Connecticut. Now, the next event at the Eagles Hall, which is along that thought process as Paul was battling with his malady, is August 6, 2023. It starts at 2 p.m. in the afternoon at the Eagles Hall, 6 Mott Avenue. And this is a Pig Roast Benefit for Don Grover and Steve Kocha. And they are cancer patients, and it's a benefit to raise money for their 
trials and tribulations and their hard work of going in and battling cancer. So again, text description area, live link to uh, Scott's Facebook page, also his cell phone to get contact with Scott if you need to. Or you can just show up and pay at the door if you like. So we're going to take it out today with a song that's actually on my third CD and out of six that I've made. And interesting part of this particular CD is we recorded this with live strings. It's two violins, a viola, and a cello. Really, really cool. We actually did some swing music with the strings as well. But I started out today with the verse to when all the world is a hopeless jumble. That's the verse to Over the Rainbow. And then we married it to, or made a medley of, to this song. And this is for Paul, and because he's such a very sweet man and always keeps that smile on his face. Gray skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds, cheer up, put on that happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy, it's just not your style. You'll look so good, you'll be glad you decided to smile. Pick out that pleasant outlook, stick out that noble chin. Wipe off that full of doubt, look slap on that happy grin. Spread sunshine all over the place. Just put on a happy, put on that happy, put on that happy face. Congratulations, Paul. We'll see you next episode, and that'll be for underwater photography, different pockets of the globe that I've gone around over the years. You'll see a couple of pictures as we're taking it out today. And right here and right here, we're doing a little Hawaii, <laughs> Hawaiian tourist board promotion today. This was taken off of Hawaii. This frogfish was taken off of Hawaii. And while you're there, Honolulu, go and check out the Arizona Memorial, the USS the Swordfish. It's a United States submarine from the Second World War. You can actually go in and take a tour and realize what those gentlemen went through back in the Second World War. Man, it's a tiny space. Incredible. And they fought the war. We'll see you next episode. Until then, as always, thank you once again, Mr. Chip. For Breezy. We don't have trombones here, but you do have a horn. We do have a horn. Hey. Hey. We'll see you next episode. Congratulations, Paul Suerta.